people want to hear the real deal. You know, they want to hear, like, they want to hear music that uh, expresses things they can relate to. The real deal. The real deal. What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm gonna to show you one of the most interesting Bluetooth speakers that I've come across this year, and that is the Quirky Beat Booster. You can say that this is a versatile, adjustable, modern day Bluetooth boombox with USB charging capabilities. If you're interested in picking one of these up, then I will leave a link for you in the description section below. Let's go ahead and crack into the box and see what you get in the package. The first thing that you're going to see is the Bluetooth speaker itself. So we're going to go ahead and put that to the side and see what else comes with it. Nothing else in the package, just a black box to the left and opening that you will find a few items. The first thing you'll see is the AC power adapter and depending on where you live you will get an attachment to make sure this wall plug works with your country and then you also get a auxiliary cord just in case you don't have a Bluetooth device. The last thing that you will see is an instruction manual here that's very colorful and it also turns into a poster and it will tell you what to do with your new foam brick. The packaging that it came in, some funny stuff here, tortilla warmer, new friend, but I have to say my favorite is probably the robot jock strap. Classic. Let's get back to the focus which is the beat booster speaker itself and we'll take the plastic off of it and you'll see that this is a plastic construction but there is a matte black finish on the back and then on the sides there is a glossy finish. So if you flip the speaker over it looks like an ordinary speaker but it is not. It actually has these grooves on the side and you can use those if you want and it actually pulls apart so it's fully adjustable for whatever device that you may have. Let's take a closer look at the Beat Booster speaker. If you look along the top, you will find your volume up and down, you'll find the pause play, the sync button, and your power button and also a microphone because you can take phone calls on this thing. Sliding out the speakers, you will find a cutout on the back. That's where you're gonna put your cable through to charge your device. And then there's a nice little lip or a cradle there to set your device in. Removing the back plate, you will find a housing for all of your cords, and then you'll see the auxiliary input and also your USB input. Right beside that, that's where the DC power goes into. What I mean by this thing being flexible and adjustable is that you can kind of fit it to whatever device, like the iPhone, the HTC One M9, the Nexus 6, the Note 4, the Moto X, to the Droid Turbo, to the Samsung Galaxy S6. It really doesn't matter, even your favorite Android tablets like this Nokia N1. The biggest size tablet you're going to be able to get in here landscape wise is the size of the iPad mini, but any other tablets you can just go ahead and use them in the portrait mode. Pairing this thing up to your favorite device is extremely easy. Just look for the beat booster in the Bluetooth settings and see right next to the power button there, that little circular sync button. Hit that right there and that should make that beat booster visible. Just go ahead and select the beat booster from the available devices and you should be connected and ready to hit up your favorite music. As far as sound goes, I was pleasantly surprised. It's actually much louder than I expected it to be, and it actually has some bass response as well. Now, it's really hard for me to get across what this sounds like. I'm gonna give you an audio sample anyway, but the biggest thing is the flexibility for me. I like how I can make it smaller with a cell phone, or I can actually make it bigger with a tablet. Now, I really like watching media, like catching up on YouTube videos and catching up on some TV shows, and this was pretty awesome to put an iPad in here and watch my favorite YouTube videos with a nice added boost in sound. This speaker has a built-in rechargeable battery which powers the speaker itself, but it is also capable of charging whatever device that you're playing the music from. 
that USB port that I showed you earlier, all you need to do is plug in your USB cord or your lightning cord and just put it through that opening right there and then go ahead and plug in your favorite device and then just go ahead and put it right down on that dock or cradle part and then just stuff all your cords in there and just cover that up so it's nice and clean. This does not have to be plugged into the wall by the way, that battery will charge your device without the AC power being plugged in. So what do you guys think about the speaker? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, I've had some really good hands-on time with this. I use this almost every day and I switch devices all of the time and I'm testing new ones. So it's really nice for me to be able to use whatever device that I may have. It doesn't matter if it's an iPhone or an Android device or a tablet. Of course, there are way more compact Bluetooth speakers out there, but it kind of brings me back to my childhood because I used to have a boombox and this is like a digital boombox. There are a ton of choices out there, but if you're looking for a unique speaker, then go ahead and give this a look. If you have any questions, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific. I'm there all of the time, so I will do my best to answer your questions. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video.